So knowledge of phrases and clauses. Identifying grammatical names and functions is just very simple. So when you are asked that question, you have six options. And they are, it's either you identify it as a noun phrase, or you say it's a noun plus. Making two options. Three, you can say it's an adjectival phrase. Or it's an adjectival plus. That makes it four. Adjectival plus. And finally, you can identify it as an adverbial phrase and an adverbial plus. Good. So these are the six options you have. To know if it's a noun phrase, it will answer question who, question whom, and then question what. Okay, let's call it a question. If it's an adjective, it will answer only one question, and that is question which. Question which. And if it's an adverbial, you should have why, you should have when, which is time, you should have where, which is place, and then you have manner, which is how. So let's just take one example each in this category. Let's have this, an example of this. Traveling at night. Traveling at night is dangerous. Okay, to make it short, it's not good. And you have this underlined. So you are supposed to remove this and look for the right question that will bring it forward. You will agree with me that what is the right question we can put here when we say what is not good you are going to say traveling at night so any statement that answers question what is a noun so what we have here is a noun and once it does not have a finite verb which is the case here now is a phrase so traveling is a non-finite verb so this becomes a noun phrase so the grammatical name of this one statement is a noun phrase We can go on with another one. one Where we can have I saw the policeman. I saw the policeman that helped me. We can underline this. Of course, there are so many policemen. But the particular one I saw was the one that helped me. So the question, which policeman did I see? The one that helped me. So that helped me here is answering question which. So that makes it adjectival. Because it has a finite verb helped, it becomes an adjectival clause. So here we have adjectival clause as our answer to the underlined expression. And finally, we have adverbial. Let me quickly give you one. We prayed before the meal. Before the meal. Or let me say we pray before the dinner. Before the dinner. We have this on the line. Of course, you can tell me that it's answering question when. When did we pray? We will say before the dinner. So that's adverbial. Now, can we say this a phrase or a clause? Of course, it has no finite verb, it becomes the phrase. Yeah. With this now, you are home and dry with grammatical.